I cannot do heavy lifting. <laughs> do you even lift, bruh? Hello everyone and welcome to the Plants with Better channel. My name is Adina and today we're doing another repot. And I also made another video about this plant. It's the previous video in which I talk about these aerial juicy roots right here. These roots. If you're interested in why the hell did this plant ended up like this, you can definitely check the video. <laughs> it's about my trauma with root rot. I haven't watered it since September 2022, so last year, and now it's January, so it's been four months. I'm terrified to see what the roots look like. They could be severely dehydrated. <laughs> so yeah, this plant has been in life support right now. It also has a broken leaf right here. I'm sorry starting to yellow but i didn't see any pests on it i had problems in the past with trips on monsteras and yeah i lost a very super amazing massive monstera to trips but i was a beginner back then and unfortunately i didn't see them until it was too fucking late i mean there were so many trips on that plant and right now thinking back i'm like how could you be so ignorant but i was because i didn't know any better now if i see even a tiny little insect i will kill it right there and now and do prevention treatments now i'm on the other extreme which is definitely the better one <laughs> okay let's see what's going on with this monstera if you see it so wobbly it's just because the pot is definitely way smaller than the planter i am a bit afraid to check the roots it's definitely salvageable it will definitely look better but it will need some time to adjust to its new conditions usually i'm against repotting plants well not against but i wouldn't do it often like repotting plants during winter but i will do it because this plant is definitely deserving of a makeover and since i have this very amazing aerial roots right here i could definitely repot this plant without any problems now let's bring the action i will need a tray with my gloves my gardening gloves and some substrate i have in here a mix based on coal coir, perlite, orchid barks and I think I also have some regular potting soil as well. I haven't done it today so I don't remember exactly. This mix is amazing because it's very accessible. No matter the area you're in, you can definitely find perlite, you can find regular potting soil, you could also find barks. And I choose this mix for a lot of my house plants because it works. It does a very good job in drainage. I mean the water will go right through it and that's amazing because you don't want your roots to stay too much in water because they will rot. We don't want to repeat the same mistakes from the past. Yeah, this mix works great with arrowweeds in general and other types of plants as well. What else? What else do I need? I need another tray to gently separate the roots from my plant and see how is it going. I don't know if I will reuse the same soil. I don't know how it looks like, but if it has rot, I will definitely throw it away. And I advise you to do the same thing. I will need another tray to water it, but that a bit later. No, 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 no. <clears throat> oh yeah, I need the pot. <laughs> I'm choosing for this Monstera a terracotta pot. And also I'm reusing this moss pole from another plant and try to give more support to this Monstera. This is definitely not cutting it. <laughs> now I have two sizes. You may wonder why, but if the situation is bad in the original substrate, I will use a smaller pot and if I have amazing results, I will do an upgrade on the pot. So yeah, I've come prepared. Oh yes, my mask. <laughs> so usually when I'm doing repots and I don't film them, I use a mask because I'm kind of allergic to dust. And if the substrate is not, let's say, 100% fresh, I keep mine in boxes and the water just evaporates and it just becomes dusty, you will need a mask, regardless if you have allergies or not. So I think I will use this mask today. Hopefully it will not interfere too much with my lav mic. Now let's see what the future holds. Taking my monstera and let's discover the roots on this thing. I think I need to use the gloves now. Usually I forget to use the gloves as well. I don't mind the feeling of touching the substrate, but it's not very amazing to have dust under your nails. Now, let's gently try to remove the pod. Usually I squeeze it a lot in a lot of different areas and then gently pull. Hmm. Do 
the roots are not dehydrated let me take a b-roll so as you can see the roots look quite good they are not dehydrated i don't see any rot even which is great news i didn't expect to see this from september i mean this plant survived pretty good until now i helped this monstera with some jute and in some places this jute was a bit aggressive because that's why this leaf just dropped and it broke so it was because of these i'm removing the jute and i will be removing this moss pole with this pole as well use it for other plants next i'm going to take my mask i already cannot do this anymore Usually I'm using a better mask with a better protection, but right now I want you to hear me well. And we'll test it out today. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Do you still recognize me? Now, let's have some fun. I did have two plants on this pot. Let's see if the little one survived. I took a cutting and placed it in water because that one was, was severely dehydrated just because it didn't have an aerial root to drink some water. It didn't have that support. <laughs> this was the plant that I took a cutting of. This is definitely gone. I think this is the only chunk that has root rot in this substrate. And the original and bigger plant looks actually great. I really like what I'm seeing. So I will try to separate the roots just a little bit, not too much. I don't want to disturb it a lot since right now it's winter and some plants are a bit slower in winter. Some plants are even dormant and you don't want them to be very stressed out. Now separate a bit from here as well. Not too much. I'm not seeing a lot of rot. Definitely amazed by this plant because it's a survivor. <coughs> See? <laughs> the dust is already working against me. The roots look like this. They are very decent. They look very okay for being lonely for four months without any type of water. Since I definitely like what I'm seeing, I will use the bigger pot and use a lot of drainage with a lot of pine barks. And I also have an advantage with this bigger pot because I can give more support with this moss pole. I could bury it deep and be a bit more stable now i will put some substrate but i will make some room in here usually i'm not a fan of moss poles but i will use it this time just to give my plant extra support this is a way heavier animal and it needs extra love now i will place a bit of the substrate down there at the bottom here comes the plant i will place the plant right here in the middle and continue with the aerial roots totally forgot to do a before picture but yeah i will have the after one but not the before one <laughs> now let's continue with the aerial roots i don't mind the water just look at them water dropping on my scissors <laughs> i will place the roots in here carefully since they are going to help this plant maintain its healthy life i will also bury these aerial roots in the pot as well i have to be careful not to break them because if i will break this massive aerial root it will all be in vain <laughs> you could let the aerial roots be they could grow quite big and they can also stick to your walls and i will be careful about that because you could lose some paint if you try to unstick them let's repot this plant this massive beauty i'm using terracotta on this plant because terracotta will help water evaporate a bit faster and even though i dislike terracotta in bigger sizes but not because of the appearance no but because of the weight i cannot do heavy lifting <laughs> do you even lift bro but i'm using it this time because i will think the aesthetics will look amazing with this plant and it will also help mentally with my fear of root rot. <laughs> Gently press the soil so it can reach between the roots. And then we will try to help this plant grow beautifully, not like this. Right now it's a bit bent and its shape is a bit awkward. Unfortunately, I will remove this leaf that is broken. It's also yellowing, it doesn't have much life in it. So yeah, this one will be cut. Let's see if it stays on its own kind of but as you can see it leans a little bit and that's why it needs support and i will take some jute 
I'm reusing the jute from other projects. I think I can safely remove the mask as well. Now the first knot is done. I'm going to repeat this a couple of times and this is gonna be pretty much it. <laughs> The thing that I like a lot about Monsteras is that they can also get quite massive in an interior. So if you want a plant that will grow big in a couple of years, you can definitely acquire a Monstera. And it's also a beauty, let's face it, it looks so jungly. And it's quite inexpensive for what it is. And if you want to do an upgrade or if you want a more bougie and more pricey plant, you can go for the variegated version, the Monstera elbow. I think I will tie just one more knot and that's it. I also have to correct the form it's growing. So now we'll cut this. Oh, I don't need to cut it. It just removed itself. I will add just a bit more substrate. I don't like to add substrate until the pot is full. It's over the top because it's very hard to water that way. And perlite, it's not amazing when you water a plant. It stays on the surface and, and it's quite a bit annoying. But it does a great job at aeration. Now, let's clear this mess a little bit. Hmm, how much battery? 17%. I can do this, I can do this. And I'm back with this monster and my watering can. And we will water this plant good. The substrate needs to be soaking wet. I have this watering can full and I will try to reach all the substrate. Now, there you have it. This beautiful plant has a new home, finally. After this repot, it will also grow a bit more uniform. I think it's an amazing plant. It is easy care if you really take the time to know its needs. And I think it's also one of the most beautiful plants out there. Terracotta will do a great job for this plant. I will leave it in this tray for the next 10 minutes to let it absorb some more water. And then I will place it right back on the windowsill. I forgot to mention about this leaf that it is a bit yellowy in this area and that is because it was stuck it was glued to the window and if the temperatures are harsh outside the window is not isolating anything and <laughs> this is called damage right here <laughs> This is it, we reached the end of our video and if you want an update on this plant, let me know in the comments. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and until next time, don't forget to take care of yourself and your plants.